Hey guys, and welcome back to a brand new demo. Of course, we have to start in Saab while Saab is active, but today we have the brand new, where did they go? The brand new Thousand Seas Pavilion Pass, as well as the brand new Fishing Rod, the Midnight Locust Fishing Rod. Locust, Lotus. Now, let's start off with the Thousand Seas Pavilion Pass. The pass provides permanent access to the Thousand Seas Pavilion, which is a beautiful island, or isle, I should say, adrift in the mists. So let's go check it out. Oh my, that is very cool. Lovely loading screen, that. And here we are. Where are we on the map? It does not really say. We have funny chicken is here already. Uh, we can't actually change the zoom level on the map to force us to see where this actually is. But it is really nice. We have a J-Bot workbench over here. We've got portals to Tyria. Fishmonger and fishing supplies. Interesting. Very cool. Mystic Forge right in the center with all the crafting areas right the way around. Gathering merchant uh, repairs. Gathering merchant. What do you have? Just basics? Or do you have any fancies? Oh, you do have fancy ones. Nice. Very cool. Basic merchant here. I'll be on my Oh, I'm stuck. Got Sanctum Sprint, so we've got our uh, activity for the day. Laurel Merchant and Visiting Trader. And they're Tengu, which is really cool. They're Guest Elders. This is a Tengu place. And we got a zip line to get down, so all this seems to be explorable, which we're going to check out very soon. And a zip line to get down that way, as well as just a basic path as well. Uh, let's start this set. Here we go. Ooh, what's that? Lovely uh, torches all right around. And this place has got a full on beach and everything. That's pretty cool. We've got turtles, more fishmongers. I believe it said it had access to everyone. Like every water. Oh, is that this over here? Let's go check it out. That's our funny chicken is as well. Got to hop onto our new fishing rod, the Midnight Lotus fishing rod. Nice and purpley. I'm gonna just join the party. <laughs> so I can get on the boat. And get more fishing power. So, because it's mysterious, I'm guessing that that means this is what they mean by access to any fishing water. But here is the new fishing rod. Really nice and purple. Oh, I'm not paying attention to the fish because I'm trying to get a decent shot of the rod. Weird how the line is purple, but... Oh, I was going to say something about... Buying a new pass again. <laughs> I'm here too. <laughs> oh my god. Stop it. I'm. No, it's getting away again. There we go. A Corvina, which is, I think, a side tongue fish. Let's go for another fish. I like how the lure is a, a lotus. Very nice. I kind of wish it would uh, stay with the water, though. Like, I know it's being pulled down by a fish, but it does look nice when it's floating. Looks better for me. It really does look better. I'm still just getting Corvina. I guess we're getting a, a guided tour. Oh, we've got a map portal here. Fast travel to far away fishing locations. Hey, we got a Kynan fish now. A crimson snapper. Arena. Where wouldn't I go if I was an arena? Oh! I think it's below us. How does this work? 
Is this underwater combat? That is new. I don't think they have this anywhere else. That's pretty cool. And also it's a way to farm extracurricular adventures, apparently. Looks like there's a lot of stuff down here. There's a little quag and, uh, village down here, which is pretty cool. I don't have any mounts. I guess I'm in uh, combat still. There we go. This is pretty nice. Oh. Let's pick up the pace. What? <laughs> Oops. No. <laughs> there we go. Right, what's up here? Where does this go? A few destinations with the continent of Cantha. Saltwater Beach. Okay. Alona. Istan. Okay, it has sunset. It has... LS4 in there as well. And then interior, Crater, Ascalon, Maguma. You can really go a lot through the game with this. For saving money on travel, this is definitely one of the better... Uh, map packs to unlock or map packs hubs to unlock what's up this way you have a beach does it force uh this is a fine. no it doesn't force a beach where like it does in set sun this is actually not a waste of gems for once <laughs> got a brew master do you do anything no Okay, that's this area sorted out. Uh, what is down here? A lot of work seems to have gone into this. It looks absolutely stunning. Even the underwater detail is... Yeah, the, the level just uh, environment design is what I'm looking for. Is really, really good. As it really has been with all of End of Dragons, I think, so far. Maps have been beautiful. Still am yet to find the arena, which I imagine it's there is one. Explore this way. As this is where I've not explored yet. Ooh! The Shrine Guardian is here. Very nice. Nice little thumbnail that now. Look at that. Stunning. Bonfire here, which doesn't do anything. Oh, we've got chairs that we can sit in. Do, 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 do. Lovely stuff. I'm going to keep exploring. What is up here? This is the main hub area, ah. Maybe the base of this is the arena. I'm 
nice little beach over here. I'm sure there's an arena. Actually, it doesn't, it doesn't actually, never mind. The reason I was sure there's an arena is I kind of just guessed there was one in uh, the last, right? Armistice Bastion was the last one, I want to say. I don't know, it just feels like it, it's big enough for arena and the, when Funny Chicken mentioned it, I was like, yeah, that makes sense. But there does not seem to be one. Have I explored everywhere? Let's head back up. Of course, sorry, I didn't look on this side. That their bank, trading post, everything is here. Nothing at the top. Yeah, it doesn't look like there is an arena. That's the only thing I think would be nice. Even if it was like a beach one right here. You would definitely fit one in here. Or underwater. I think an underwater arena would be really awesome. Maybe in the lagoon over there? That shrine guardian moves around. Oh, really? Ooh. No, I checked down there already. Oh, it does. That lighting is something fierce as well. Very, uh... <laughs> very shiny. Well, I think that's just about everything there is to see here. We've got uh, huge options for traveling throughout Tiri, which seems a bit weird, but also it's quite nice if you're, I don't know, doing a world boss train on a account, like if you've just spent all your money and you're trying to do world boss train or something, that could come in handy. I'm not too sure. It's a bit of a, a weird one, but it's also quite cool. And of course, I believe we have all the capital cities. I didn't actually check where that is going. The one up here. Yeah, we have our basic hub right at the top, so everything you need to do at the drop of a hat is right here, and then down below is our big open. So we can go to previous map, Arborstone, Lion's Arch, Aerodrome, and the capital cities up here. So that's pretty good. So you go to Kanta, you can go to Kreisha, you can go to Raids, and then any capital city. I think I the North might have been a nice one as well to include uh, on that. Oh, that's another good point. You can't start fractals from this one. So Mislock Sanctuary for a fractal player is still the top-notch one. Um, but having that teleport to loads of random maps is really uh, unique and very interesting. Also, having the underwater combat training is something really cool. As Funny Chicken was saying, I also agree it would be nice to have an above ground area and an arena, of course. Even if it was an underwater arena, I think that would be really nice and unique uh, and something a bit different that makes this pass a bit more special, I think. I like having the little shrine guardian that moves around. I don't know how big the route is, but I assume it's like around the, the island here. It started up off he over here, I think, so maybe it just walks around and heads back. Kind of want to catch it in transit. Also, I'm very glad that mounts are allowed in this pass. It seems a bit of a no-brainer, but it could have been, you know, because it's a instance map or something, they could have maybe. Where is this Shrine Guardian? Blocked mounts or something stupid like that. But yeah, overall, I think it's a, a great pass to buy. Oh, they're back over here. I think it's... But overall, I think it's a great hub to buy. It's got some nice, lovely, beautiful environments. It's got access to all the capital cities. No fractals, uh, but it does kind of have raids through Aerodrome Teleport. And also the fishing... Uh, and also, yeah, it's very chill. It's got fishing spots all around as well. 
one of my favourites at the moment. Um, and probably one I shall use for a good bit. Also, actually, another way to get to Arborstone without having to do the story. Another way to get to Kantha without having to do the story. Uh, so yeah, all in all, pretty cool. And I think that is it for today's demo. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Oh, there they go. Uh, and subscribe for more in the future. Very close to 4,000 subscribers. I'll be back later on this evening with some more Super Adventure Box. I'm going to be practicing World 2 today for a few hours. Then take a break, have some dinner. And then try to do like three or four runs of it tonight. With a decent, consistent time. Hopefully. Uh, so that should be this evening. Very cool, this. Oh, you're going this way. And yeah, you can join the Discord to stay up to date with all things new on the channel, such as new videos, when I go live, and our weekly screenshot challenge every weekend in Guild Wars 2. And you can support the channel through the membership program as well. That's it for me for today. You can check out the giveaway to be in with a chance to win a pass or a fishing rod. Uh, and the link for that should be in the end screen. Until next time, thank you so much for watching. Take care and enjoy your week. What is this fishing tonic? Oh, actually, one thing I just realized. Again, cat bias over dog bias. This is getting ridiculous. I know you did dogs for one little April Fool's, but if that, that was an April Fool's joke, that wasn't genuinely adding dogs to the game. Oh, the forge has a new... Uh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's it from me for today, guys. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the demo. And until next time. Very interesting, all these unique... Uh, I've been immobilized. Ooh. That's a ugly looking fish. Largos again. I'm an undead quaggan, I think? Or I don't know. Actually, I like the animation on that guy's uh, walk. Right, I'm getting the same ones over and over again. Is there any... Oh, play dead as a fish, is it? How do they do that, I wonder? Right, well, that is it, finally, for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. And until next time, take care.